Hello my beautiful people from Not So Beautiful Me. <laughs> uh, today I wanted to try and review for you and with you the flower makeup, um, what is it called, Light Illusion Foundation, which has just landed in our Superdrag. So I know Superdrag is doing a trial for this brand and they just have few items. They don't have the full flower beauty collection yet. Um, I only have my skincare on and under my eyes I have the Color Science Total Eye Cream and I don't think I'm going to use my illuminating primer because I think this is quite illuminating foundation. So uh, let's read first what they say about this foundation. It says that it is a breakthrough foundation that achieves the impossible, provides medium to buildable coverage gives smooth and flattering soft luminosity. It is weightless, it gives you weightless, <laughs> gives you weightless, weightless nude skin feel. Imperfections and uneven skin tone are diminished. Only a flawless, smooth and incredibly natural complexion is revealed. This foundation comes in 12 colors which is really, really bad, but I think they're gonna bring some more. Unfortunately, Superdrag only carries five colors and mostly for Caucasian women, so that's rubbish. Um, it has SPF of 18, weird. Uh, it costs $14 in US and £12.99 in the UK. Now, this foundation is cruelty free, but if you are a person that is into very natural chemical free products, this is definitely not for you because this is full of emulsifiers, silicones, plastic polymers and reflected ref and reflective powdered metals. It does not bother me. Okay, my color is natural beige. It was very hard to choose. My um, physical drugstore wasn't carrying this yet, so I ordered it online. And I've told you, usually when in doubt, I go for something beige. So it doesn't look too bad. The packaging is very nice and very luxurious for a drugstore brand. You know, this is a, a glass bottle. It is a bit bulky and and big, but you know, it's something that you would see at. Estee Lauder or Dior, you know, really, really nice packaging. So mine is in natural beige. Let's try it. I'm going to apply it with my beauty blender. And I think, oh yeah, the color looks, doesn't look too bad. Let's do one side first. Maybe I put a bit too much. Okay. Yeah, it blends pretty nicely. It is quite, this natural beige, quite a yellow undertone. It's quite thick and you see, it blends okay, but because it's a bit thick, you have to work at it. I've got very spotty forehead, time of the month. Let's apply a bit on my neck. Okay. So as you can see, it's very, very luminous. Um, it looks quite nice. It's not like sitting on a skin, you know, like a powdery, cakey makeup. It does have a medium coverage because I can still see the redness on my cheeks. It's supposed to be buildable, but you know, I would, I'm quite 
good with medium coverage. Like I said, I can add coverage with my mineral powder. Um, yeah, this is quite nice. So this is your side with the foundation. This is without, nice and red. Let's do this side then. I think this oxidizes because look how light it is when I put it on. Can you see how much dark it is on this side? So it feels like it oxidizes a bit, which means once the air gets to it, it gets a bit darker. Um, there is a difference between oxidization and drying out. So if you have a matte foundation, and it changes color that is because it dries into matte so it goes sometimes a bit darker that's not necessarily oxidization but I think with this it is very nice let me zoom you in Can you see how luminous it is? I haven't put any luminous primer. Hopefully, because to me that's too luminous. Um, I don't like to be completely matte, but I don't like to look greasy either. Hopefully, you know, a lot of these foundations, once they dry down, they lose this excessive shyness. So, shall we see if I can build it up a, a bit? And if I do that, will it start looking cakey and more like a foundation? I'm not going to do it on my forehead. I like to put as little stuff as I can on my forehead because my forehead's got lots of wrinkles and the product sits in it. Yeah, it's building up nicely. I actually quite like this color. It's probably a bit too dark for me now, but I have a bit of fake time. That is a JLo glow. Um, so I would say straight away, if you have combination oily skin you probably will want to stay away from it but for someone like me with dry to normal skin that should be really nice I like it I don't think it looks you know cakey like it sits on your skin it just looks a lot like your skin I don't know if that means it's gonna settle in those lines because it is because it is still quite tacky. Um, should we just wait and see if it will, before I go and put anything else on, if it dries out a bit. Okay, I've sat here for about five minutes and I think the glowing has gone down a tiny bit, but it still feels tacky. I think it looks beautiful. It looks just like skin. Can you see? It looks very skin-like. It doesn't look, it just looks like I've moisturized uh, my own skin if it was flawless, you know, without the redness. So yeah, first impressions, I really like it. But now I am going to go and apply the rest of my makeup. And to keep this dewiness, you shouldn't really powder it. But I don't know how the hell do you do the rest of your makeup without powdering it. Um, I have to powder a bit under my eyes. I know a lot of people say that when you mature you should leave the powder out but I feel like you know if you are shiny remember the light and shade rules if you've got something light and shiny under your eyes it will um, show off the bugs and imperfections more. Also I cannot apply powder blush or bronzer on the top of cream because it will stick so I feel like I have to powder it and then I think well if I powder it 
the shine, the luminosity will be gone. We will see. So I will go and finish my makeup um, do my hair. I put a wig on. My hair is really in the need of washing. So I'm just going to stick a wig on. Um, and yeah, we'll come back and we will see how it looks once I've powdered, bronze, put blush on. And also I will then check with you at the end of the day and see how this wow but it is so nice so you know like if I'm on holiday somewhere in a hot country and I don't want to look too made up uh, but I also don't want to go out with my bare face I would wear that without any powder just on its own because it evens out my skin tone, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing a foundation. It just looks like a lovely luminous skin. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've done my makeup. I've actually filmed a um, tutorial for this, so you will see it sometime next week. Um, lipstick on, on teeth. Okay, so what I did, I obviously put my concealer on the Fenty Beauty and I set it with Fenty Beauty powder but for the rest of my face I took a big fluffy brush and I lightly dusted my face with the Laura Mercier mineral powder in natural beige I think so I didn't buff it in like for coverage or you know to to get to powder it I just dusted it so I could then apply my powder bronzer and blush and all that and I feel, I know I've got a highlighter here, but I feel like it still looks a bit luminous. Obviously, it's not as shiny as it was without it all, but it still looks quite luminous and natural. Let me zoom you in now. Okay, so that's me zoomed in. It hasn't settled in any wrinkles, but you know, like I said, at my age, things will be settling in wrinkles. There is no, nothing you can do about it. But I, I think that it still looks really nice and natural. Obviously the rest of me doesn't look very natural. <laughs> but um, yeah, the foundation is lovely. Do you know, I am so, so impressed. This is probably fourth drugstore foundation that I love. Well, I haven't had it on for that long. Um, but you know, I've reviewed some high-end foundations this year and and they have nothing on these drugstore ones. So I am really pleased about that and we will see how it wears. So I will come back in a few hours and we will see if it changed, if it moved around, if it caked up. So I will see you in a few hours. Okay, so I am back. It has been almost six hours. Uh, I haven't touched up. I haven't looked at myself. I know you probably think that I walk around with a mirror in front of me looking at myself, but I don't. Um, so let's have a look now. Apart from bits of glitter everywhere. Um, hmm. If anything, I would say it's gone a bit more dewy so and it's worn off a bit of my chin. Let's have a look. So can you see, you can see my chin a bit red. So it's worn off a bit of my chin, um, but everywhere else it looks pretty good. You know with the chin, I've, I've always told you my chin is probably the most oily part of my face. Chin and hair. Um, and also I think when I sit and do stuff, I probably touch my chin a lot. So, you know, but everywhere else it stayed on pretty good. I would just say that it's gone more dewy, but you know, for not touching it up all day, it's not bad. You know, I don't feel it's gone any, you know, doesn't have any cakiness, uh, looks as good as it did. So. If I wanted this foundation to last me a bit more longer, I would probably have to have to touch up my chin and maybe powder a bit, you know, to take away the shine because this is not luminosity anymore. This is like plastic coating. 
but I am quite impressed. I really, really like it. And I know that <laughs> I can't believe it myself. You know, a few years ago, I wouldn't touch a drugstore foundation with a barge pole. Um, they were so awful. Whereas these days, you know, as you have seen with my reviews, I seem to prefer the drugstore foundations than the high end. The only problem with drugstore foundations is the color choice and the undertone to uh, and undertone choices. So if they can sort that out, that would be great. Uh, because, you know, even 12 shades, it's not good enough. And here in the UK, we only get five shades in that foundation. And the same with the CYO foundations. I think they have 15 shades. But again, the undertones are not really right. So, yeah. Um, thumbs up from me for this foundation. Obviously, only if you have dry to normal skin. If you are very dry, you, you would love this foundation. But if you are combination to oily, I probably would stay away from it. Okay, my sugar puffs, I hope you found this helpful. I know that when I said, I don't know if you like me doing these reviews, you said, yes, they are very helpful. So I will carry on. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Stay fabulous. Bye.